Hey there, this is Christopher Thomas Hunt. Uh, here's another little episode of uh, Musings of a Mariner Sojourning in the Land of Woke. And now, I've been really busy on the boat. I'm getting off tomorrow night. Uh, I'm going to be going out to Washington and uh, going to go visit my grandpa gonna go visit my dad and my stepmom my grandpa and my stepmom are not doing very well and uh, so please pray for them Bill is my grandpa and Don is my stepmom uh, I'm gonna be also be visiting my Aunt Marie and Uncle Archie up in the Seattle area and it looks like I'm probably gonna go have lunch with Mark Shea who's a Catholic author pretty 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 cool guy uh, as far as I know, I don't really know him yet, but, you know, I've, I've read I've read some of his stuff, you know. Uh, he's a little controversial, uh, but I think he's a voice that's very necessary, and uh, I'm looking forward to uh, meeting him, and uh, I think it'll be, it'll be a good little, little meet. Um, I haven't really gotten much farther on that book, been really busy on a boat, and then a little bit of time I had off I was kind of vegging like right now I just finished scrubbing the engine room and the generator room uh, that's why I'm all sweaty and uh, looking the way I look um, but I you know I was thinking you know a lot about this you know because I mean obviously there's a lot of reason to be having compassion and stuff and for for uh, for the LGB TQ community and one of the things that, that I, I was thinking about a lot is you know there's a whole lot of people that call themselves Christian and uh, they are very of course anti LGBTQ and you know I, I was kind of thinking about that and and there does seem to be a lot of hatred there and that made me think a little bit more and you know there's there's many times where I've talked to people that were of same-sex attraction who have told me wow nobody's ever talked to me in the way that you're talking to me um, that when it comes to somebody that was um, against that kind of lifestyle right because but I was starting to think about that and I'm like okay what is happening here is a lot of people in the Christian communities are not looking at the individuals as people they're not looking at them as sinners that need to be saved they're looked at as a group of people that need to be condemned for their sin and all that is coming or not all but for the most part what comes to the um, homosexual community is condemnation you are all going to hell right but for the people that, that act like that I need to ask you when's the last time you masturbated because according to the natural law that is against nature and that is the same variety of sin as that I have another question for you if you are one of these homo haters that calls yourself a Christian when is the last time you used contraception? Contraception is intrinsically evil, just like masturbation is intrinsically evil. Why? Because of it, uh, of what it is. It is sex has an end, a proper end. The proper end of sex is procreation. If you are masturbating obviously that's not going to result in procreation if you are using contraception you are purposefully going against it if you are having same sex sex then obviously you're doing the same thing so for all of the all of you people that are looking at homosexual people is sinners that need to be condemned rather than sinners that need to be saved the, then I'm gonna ask you are you doing these other sins I just talked about or are you looking at porn you know come on uh, so if you are looking at that group in our community as 
people who need to be condemned and not as souls that need to be saved by the blood of Jesus Christ, then you are the problem. And I would just say, remember the Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not to temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. So you look at that and then you also look at when Christ or when, when the Bible says that you'll be judged the way you judge. Now, if you're judging them as sinners to be condemned, and that's your judgment, you're a sinner too. I'm a sinner too. You know, uh, I fall into I fall into sins. You know, uh, a lot, often. Um, and I'm a sinner that needs my soul to be saved. And you are too. Whoever's listening to this. And if you're reaching out to people that are in the homosexual community and you're reaching out to them and telling them that they're damned and that they need to be condemned, hey, look in the mirror because someone else needs to be condemned too. Now, if you're reaching out because you want, you want their soul saved because you love them and you want them to be in heaven with God and hopefully with yourself, then look in the mirror and say, you know what, wow, you know, I better, I better repent of my sins, I better do what I can to fight against my sins, and I want, I want God's grace to fill me, and I hope that God's grace will come through me into other people, and, you know, so that, that that's a big issue, and with that, I'm going to say goodbye, and y'all have a great day, God bless you, bye.